Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm with my neighbor across the street, John Sobieszczyk. And John, well, he's moved in somewhat recently. And as soon as he moved in, two people got on their cell phones and said, you got to come over here and see this thing. Uh -huh. So, John, what did you bring here today? I brought my 1957 Mercury Monterey. And this one, well, it's a driver. How long you had it? Uh, just a little over three years. Three years, and let's go right to the big green machine. So that is an imposing force coming down the street. And the M stands for magnificent. <laughs> the 57 was nice. The single headlight, the Mercury, and this one's got a few modifications. Obviously, it's got a very stock appearance. The no missing the M right in the center. Come on right alongside me. Yeah, some 57s came out with the dual headlight, but they were banned in a lot of states. So in 58, the dual headlight came pretty much universal with a lot of cars. But so the, this one's a, uh, just a single headlight. So the 57 did have two sets of lights, so to speak. In some states, uh, some people, when you see a 57, will have the dual headlight, and those were states that were allowed to have um, the dual headlights because they were banned for quite a while. I think with the police cars and stuff like that. So yeah. that is one big green machine. Well, it's a treat to see this one coming out of the garage. I'll tell you that. We got a little wind out here as we're in the hometown. And we have the dual mirrors and a big wraparound windshield combined with that nice antenna. Was that actually from the factory or was it that angle? Yes. That's pretty cool. And you'll notice there's this little ridge which is great for catching bugs if need be in the side windows. I like the fact that they've got the mercury there. Clearly spaced out on the quarter. We've got the correct caps, as you can see, with the Mercury emblem well, there. Well, it's a 50 caps. I don't know if it's actually a 57, but it, they were hard to find. Some slight modifications. Yeah. It all looks good. Now, interesting, that same hardtop roof line, they did the same thing with the back, where it has this nice piece there. And then that emblem actually is correct, right? This one in the back. Yeah. Obviously a little bit of modified speakers. And then the wonderful 57 back end. And we'll take a moment to show you some trunk and treats. So here's our trunk and treats. Now you can see we've got a massive, well done in the carpeted. You can see the tire. So we start with our 57 body parts catalog and you can see the 57 Mercury maintenance manual along with the master parts catalog. Our Mercury chassis parts catalog, October 56. And this is the real treat right here. So I'll take a deeper view so you can see all of that. And then I'll dive right in. The commuter two door six passenger. And I've already pre obviously opened this up for you. So our 57 station wagons. Each one having a little different name. And then we've got our two-door sedan, four-door, our convertible, our Phaeton, Phaeton Coupe. You 
you can read across there straight out of tomorrow the 57 mercury with dream car design the big m stands for 57 vaults you into the realm of supreme driving ease so i'll be gentle and turn this over and you can see how this all opens up i will show you give you the overall perspective and then this would be the cover I want to share our specifications so you can pause on some of those now this one's a driver so it doesn't have the stock engine, we've already told you that. This one has the Lincoln. And then I'm going to gently turn this around so that we can read the other half of this. The new roof design. And you've already seen the new trunk space. The dream car design. Up to 290 horsepower. And we'll take you back to the car. And we're back. So we have some reflective pieces here. Gas caps right there. Behind the, behind the license plate. Behind the license plate. Our Mercury emblem there. And that, the new one. Ah. For the trunk. Yeah, that's very nice. And I like the, uh, the tail ends here is a little bit lit almost from the way we've got it. But that's quite the nice angle right there. Reflector, reverse light, and sail light. Let's take a look at the interior, shall we? Before you do that, you also here for the key, you have the little... So that they get no snow in there. Nice. So we open this up. Nice colors on the door. Notice this is how you lock the door. Open, locked, etc. So we just have the vent piece here that opens and closes. Our all important. Now the interior I had done after I bought the car. And let's, uh, let's show that interior. First of all, big bench seats. Big back seat. And uh, you're single, right? So, <laughs> yeah. all right, okay, big, bench, big back seat for... I'm sure a lot of kids back in the day were first conceived in the back seat of a car like this. <laughs> and then, uh, let me show that dash. I will say, Jen, I really like the coordination of the colors on the seats. I really think that makes the car pop. This is a nice piece here, too, that you can see how they put that little gold piece in there. Yeah, they got the gold just to match probably the, the pillars, the outside pillars here. Mm -hmm. Got the gold. So the gold matches those gold pillars there. Got it. Okay. Now this car originally was a push button. Um, transmission, but when, when when they did the work and put the bigger engine in, they put a floor shifter in. What's the engine you have on this one? Uh, 460 out of a 68 Lincoln Continental. Nice. That Nin Mer 19, yeah, 1968 is the first year the 460 engine came out. Does that Mercury light up or anything, or no? Just it's just there for. And we'll show you when we take a ride. 
that uh, speedometer, how it operates. Which is pretty cool. I wish they'd do that now. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Now the the air conditioning unit was that time period correct? Obviously the yeah. From what I understand, those were back in the day. That was uh, after uh, after market, but it was factory installed. All right. So we've got an updated radio. And we have some some gauges to make sure our temperatures are right. The clock, our ashtray. Yeah. There's nothing in here as I'm looking at it that says mercury. Yeah. We got our power steering. It has the Mercury logo. Other than that, Mercury there. Kind of interesting. And then these uh, uh, aerodynamic plane louvers are for uh, ventilation. Correct. Okay, got it. And, and then the metal metal pattern. There's a button underneath for actually the uh, the glove box. In the middle Here? pad. There's a button there. You can open that up and you got your. Oh, button. I see. I didn't see that coming. Most people, you know, yeah, no, you, you had me. I didn't I didn't know that was there. That's cool. Let me just show the, the roof liner, which I think actually really adds to the car too. Just the cleanliness of that white. Really pure. Let's uh let's take a look at the engine, shall we? Okay. So here's our engine of the big green machine. The hood opens that way, and here's our 460 68 Lincoln with the Ford Racing. So if you're going to push this kind of metal, we've got the master cylinder there, the dual cylinders, we've updated that so we can actually stop this thing. And you can see it there. Let me show you the other side of the engine. The Ford Racing. Little temperature gauge there. Like so. Our fuel our heater, our cruise control, and that looks good. Jen, let's uh, fire it up. Let's listen to how she sounds. How do you feel? Good. Good. Yeah. And we're out here in the middle of the cornfields, <laughs> our hometown. There, there's actually cornfields, just in case people think we're not. Here's, here's where we live. Well, the town of Hampshire. Yeah. We blinked. We missed it. So how do you feel when you're driving in this one? I feel great. It's a nice, uh, nice ride. So how long have you been my neighbor now? How, how many months have you been there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so, so rumor has it that, that this is the second best thing living across the street from me to your honeymoon night. Is that accurate? <laughs> <laughs> That's what? Oh, it's the, oh, it's the first best thing? <laughs> second best thing. <laughs> honeymoon thing. came in number two. <laughs> uh, just just sit around, chat cars and BS it and screw it around. <laughs> oh, that is great. That's maybe your number one. <laughs> oh, you're definitely my number one. Matter of fact, when you came in in this thing, I just want to show people. Slow it down just a second so people can watch how that thing works. Your speedometer. Slow it down. Like bring it, bring it all the way down. I want to show people how that works. This thing's got brakes, right? Yep. It's got those drum brakes. Takes a couple of minutes. See how that's coming down? Like that. That's yeah, it's on a tape. So, yeah, it's on a tape. One of the things when we're driving this car that's real obvious, and I'll show you people, is that horn ornament. Not missing that one. And the hitch 
interesting thing is you shared there's one, one, one back here, which is that one right there. Yeah, you only see the back side, but from the outside of the window you see it, the actual mercury. One in the front, one in the back. Just let people kind of enjoy this little cruise with us. So John, one of the fun things we like to do is talk about car shows and things like this. This one's won a couple of awards. Uh, I would say it's won a share of awards in <laughs> yeah. three years I've had. It. Yeah. So how much fun is it to go to a show and have people kind of eyeball it, look at it, and enjoy it? Well, that's the nice part. Uh, you know, you go to a car show and everybody's got their Mustangs, which I have, and uh, the Tri-5 Chevys, but nobody sees a 57 Chevy, so it does get a lot of looks and a lot of people look at it and go, wow, you don't see that around, you know? Yeah. Speaking around, we'll just show people our town of Hampshire, which we actually just got done going. Look at that right there. There's a good one. And then this is our little, look at those fire, those pumps and things. It's good stuff right there. And you're making your way all the way through town. There's our one rail, railroad track. Yeah. And that's the end of it, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, didn't take long, did it? Throw a rock from end to end, just like yeah. that song goes. Like, yeah, there's a Chevy van. <laughs> there we go. But John, it, it it really is a treat to have you as my neighbor because it's a lot of fun and it's great having a car friend. And I'm so tickled that you're you're with us. Matter of fact, when you pulled into the neighborhood, I got two cell phone calls right away. You got to see this thing outside. So uh, well, every, I know the pleasure's been all yours. <laughs> yes, it has. It's been a wonderful time. Thanks for being on my car store. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for inviting me.